Question six is about probability and counting. It's from module 7.2. These are all real world problems and they're pretty easy because you don't need to solve in detail. Just get to the part what is required and you can easily solve them up. The first question is about statistics. A survey found that 90% of the junior class is right handed. Okay, right handed 90%. So what is left handed then? 10% directly you can tell. If one junior is chosen at random out of 100, so total is 100, one person is selected, what is the probability that he or she is left-handed? You don't even need to do it. It's directly left-handed is 10%, right? That's the probability. But how many are left-handed? Out of 100, there are 10 because 10%. So it's 1 by 10 or 10%. Basically, they have given in percentages. So it's very simple. Right-handed is 90%. If you choose a student randomly out of 100, one who is right-handed is 90% chance, whereas left-handed is only 10% or 1 by 10. 0.1 okay these are all correct answers it depends on how your option is given you generally might have 1 by 10 or 0.1 or if it's in percentage over here just multiply this by 100 you'll get percentage the next one roll bought 24 raffle tickets out of 1545 the uh, total tickets were sold by 1545 what is the probability that roll will not win the grand prize of the raffle ticket not win. This is interesting because I have not asked what is the probability that he'll win. Not win is given by probability complement, you know, of A that is equal to 1 minus probability of A. If you want him not to win, first find what is the probability he is going to win and then subtract it by 100%, then that's it. So now imagine there is 40% chance of rain, okay? Chance of rain is 40%. What is the probability that it's not going to rain? 100 minus 40% is equal to 60%. It's not going to rain, right? So this is a, it's it's basically not rain, sorry. It's just that you can easily understand 40%, 60%. The same way over here, find the probability how much is going to win. Not winning will be 100% minus the percent or 1 minus 0. Uh, 1 minus 0.4. Yeah, that's it. So let's do that now here. So probability that is going to win because he has 24 tickets out of 1545. This is the probability he is going to win, but not winning will be just 1 minus that. As simple as that. Let's take our calculators and solve. Over here, we type 1 minus 24 divided by 1545. The answer is 0.98%. That's You can multiply this by 100. But don't just put this. This is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. You need to put the brackets if you're putting to this equation directly. Or once you get the answer, just multiply that by 100. It's 98.44%, 45% that is not going to win. Because you can see there are so many tickets and only 24 tickets are bought by him. So 98% is not going to win. Only 2% chance, less than 2% chance, he will win. That's how we solve it. Here... What we have is a uh, Riverview High School. 120 students were asked whether they prefer a lion or a timber wolf as the new school mascot. What is the probability that a randomly selected student will have voted for lion as the new school mascot? They have given the details here. They want lion as the school mascot, right? How many have chosen lion? 78. What is the total number of students? 120. That's it. That's the answer. You just put it in the calculator, you will get the exact value. All we need to do is 78, 78 divided by 120. And that is the answer. It's 0 0.65, 65% if you multiply that by 100. So that's the answer here. In even senior class of 240 students, 85% are planning to attend college after graduation. 85%. So how many are not attending? It's 15%. What is the probability that a senior chosen at random is not planning to attend college after graduation? I'm not going to solve anything because over here directly we can tell it's 15%. Why? Because 85 are going to college, then the remaining out of 115 will not go to college. So it's 0 0.15 or 15. Rather than finding the number of students, everything, it's not required because it's direct problem. And it's electronic, you can directly get the answer. So that's the answer here. 
what about this problem here? We have a graph, a Venn diagram. This is called Venn diagram. The Venn diagram shows that the cast members who are in Act 1 and Act 2 of the play, one of the students will be chosen at random to attend a statewide performing art conference. Let A be the event that a cast member is in Act 1 of the play and let B be the event in a, the person is in Act 2. Find the probability of A intersection B. Look, your yeah, act one means all these are in this particular drama. Imagine this is a drama one. There are two dramas and second play or a drama or a skit or anything. Kate, Paige, Brad, Garrett, Amy, Alex are doing drama one. In drama two, Tyron, Walter, Fran, Amy and Alex are also included. These five people are doing drama two as well. They want to know A intersection B, who are doing both of them. Here you can see the middle, Amy and Alex, they are in both of these dramas, right? So they are the intersection. A intersection B is, who are there in both, Amy and Alex. Uh, the second part is, what is the probability that a student who is chosen to attend the conference in the cast is a cast member of only one of the two acts? Now, Amy and Alex are there in both. So exclude them. All the others are there only in one act. See, Tyron, Walter, Fran, only in the second drama, whereas Kate, Paige, Brad, Garrett, only in the first drama. So our desired outcomes, desired people are these people. How many are there? Seven. Total are nine. So seven by nine is the probability that if you randomly choose a person, they'll be only in one specific act, not both. Only one, they are told. Only one of the two acts. So answer is 7 by 9 or 78 percent. The 20th one is about a spinner. Larry is playing a game that uses a spinner. What is the probability that the spinner will land on a prime number on the next spin? Okay, now prime numbers are the numbers which can be divided by itself and 1. Nothing else. Now 1 is a prime number. It's always there. 2. 3 is also a prime number. 4 is not a prime number. Why? Because 4 can be divided by 2. So that's not a prime number. Whereas 5 is a prime number. There are plenty of prime numbers until the first 100 digits. You know, then it's very, very less. 6 is not because 6 can be divided by 3. So similarly, let's see 29. 29 is a prime number, in fact. Okay, because there's nothing that can divide by this. You can't divide 1, 2, 3, no, nothing. What about 53? 53, 53, 3 goes, right? no, 52. Okay, so even this uh, 26, no, it's it's a prime number. You can use a calculator and try dividing this by uh, 3, 4, 5, 2 onwards, you know. So no, 47, I don't think so, 45, 46. 47 is also not a prime number, I believe. Uh, let me just, I'm just thinking in my mind. 17, no. No, this is also not a prime number. 19 is not a prime number. I know that for sure. 37. I think so. 37 is not a prime number. Uh, 35 is not. Uh, sorry, 80 is a prime number. It is. This is a prime number. This is. Yeah, this is also a prime number. Okay, there is nothing that divides. Are they all prime numbers? I know 23 is a prime number for sure. Uh, because uh, 21, 23 is a, even 41. Yeah, all are prime numbers. Let me just check. Yeah, they're all prime numbers. Okay, so here it's 100% chance that it will be a prime number. Why? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 digits over here are prime numbers out of 7. All are the prime numbers. So therefore, no matter what number spins the next turn, it is going to be a prime number. So the probability is 1. 1 means 100% chance it will be a prime number. Here about shopping, Raya asks 40 people outside the mall whether or not they visited for shopping or dining so in a mall there's only both shopping and dining so what did they go for exactly she records the results in the venn diagram you can see some of them 13 only went for shopping nine only went for dining and 11 went for both whereas seven didn't even go inside i believe because that's outside right they didn't go for any of these reasons one person will be chosen at random to be interviewed on the local evening news Find the probability that the pro person chosen will be someone who visited the mall for shopping and dining. Who are the intersections? 11, right? 
11 out of 40, this will be the probability. Just put it in the calculator. That's the answer. 11 out of 40 or 27.5%. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.